Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it is grocery haul day. I have some new food finds and I have some amazing, super exciting recipes coming your way for meal prep on Monday. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up and subscribe if you're not and ring your bell so you never miss a grocery haul or another video in general. I do upload five days a week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to talk with me directly. Links, discounts, to my favorite things and lastly come on over join us in my Facebook group we'd love to have you let's jump in to my grocery haul what's for dinner and what's for meal prep So here is my grocery haul for the week this week I actually went to Walmart and to Sprouts I have some new food finds I have some amazing recipes coming your way in Monday's meal prep. So let's jump in to this week's grocery haul. First, I picked up this hanging basket from Walmart. I loved that it had the pink, the orange, and the yellow flowers. I'm going to hang this on a shepherd's hook that we actually found in our backyard. And we put it kind of on the side of our house. I think it's just going to add some really pretty color. Light butter for Troy. You guys know that he loves the, I can't believe it's not butter, but he also loves the country crock light. A three pack of 93% grass fed, grass finished organic beef from Walmart. I will tell you, I don't know if it's Arizona or just in general, but this three pack used to be just under $18. Now it's almost $20. I know the price of everything has gone up, but it kind of shocked me because it's been a while since I've had to purchase it and it was just substantially more expensive, but the quality is really good. I needed some wonton wrappers because for my lunch meal prep this next week. This is now officially a staple in this house. Both Troy and I absolutely devoured this chicken this last week. This is from Sprouts and it's just their shredded pre-pulled chicken. Super convenient. We would throw it in some mashed potatoes with some vegetables for a quick lunch. I love to roll it up in a low carb wrap with some cheese. It was just really convenient and really, really delicious. Fun new coffee creamer find. This is limited edition from Chobani. This is their Patty's Lucky Batch, and it is mint and cookies flavored. Yes, please, you guys know I love everything mint, so I had to pick it up. A gallon of milk, also for Troy. I forgot to grab milk last week, so it has been a solid week since he've had, he's had any milk. I also grabbed an eight pack of Gatorade Zero for him. I didn't even think to pick this up when I was at Costco last week, and since it's so hot here and he's been working in the yard, he's been drinking a lot of the Gatorade Zero. Light mayonnaise, just to have on hand. We do have the Primal Kitchen or the Chosen Foods Avocado Oil Meal, which is my favorite, but I like to have light mayonnaise on hand as well. Low fat ricotta cheese, this is for my lunch meal prep. Zero sugar Reese's peanut butter cups, these are so good, but I need these for my meal prep this next week. You guys are going to be really, really excited about the dessert that I have coming your way because, spoiler alert, it involves Reese's peanut butter cups. A big, huge pack of Colby and Monterey Jack string cheese. We love, love, love string cheese. A box of Pillsbury sugar-free brown Brownie mix. This is a for that dessert recipe. So we have brownies, we have peanut butter. It's going to be so good. Also in that dessert recipe is pre-made sugar cookie dough. So we're not using this whole roll, but we do need some sugar cookie dough for the recipe. An 18 pack of eggs because we've already used up almost all of that big pack of eggs that I bought at Costco. I wanted some granola for my yogurt. I've been using Troy's Special K with blueberries in my yogurt, which is really good. But I saw this and it reminded me how much I love this. This is the safe and fair birthday cake granola. I literally put like a tablespoon, maybe two on my yogurt and it adds a good sweetness and a crunch. Speaking of yogurt, this time I went with the Oikos protein yogurts. These are really, really good and they have 20 grams of protein per container. So I picked up one peach, one strawberry, a mixed berry, and then I did decide to grab an Oikos triple zero because it's lemon tart and I love lemon yogurt. Some green olives for Troy. We actually ended up leaving these behind 
behind when we moved, so I restocked the olives. Gluten-free white corn tortilla chips. My mother-in-law is gluten-free, and we're having them over this weekend for ma the Masters, and we're doing a seven-layer dip. The one I picked up from Fry's last week, it's so good. I'm going to go repurchase that because we really, really loved it. So I grabbed some gluten-free tortilla chips so that she can have them as well. And then I was so excited that Chetty's were back. You can see this one's already open because I snacked on some on my way home. These are my favorite cracker because they have eight grams of protein and they are like a cheese it but better. Way cheesier, real authentic cheese flavor, so good. So they had three bags and I picked up two of them. I thought I would leave one behind for someone else who loves Chetty's as much as I do. Sliced mozzarella cheese for a dinner recipe and then I did grab two cans of Healthy Request tomato soup. This is also for a dinner recipe. Speaking of recipes, I have a recipe video coming your way here in the next couple of weeks with two really good family-friendly recipes, so stay tuned for that as well. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on. Two packages of light mozzarella cheese and then one package of light Fiesta blend or Mexican blend cheese. Some King's Hawaiian rolls. I was gonna get the regular rolls, but then I saw that they actually had the slider buns and they're the same calories and macros as the rolls and I feel like they're bigger. So I grabbed these because I am making a slider for us for dinner this next week. And then for produce, super simple because I did get an Imperfect Foods box. You guys will see that in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So all I needed was four zucchini for a recipe and then also some organic baby spinach for salads and a dinner recipe. So that is everything in this week's grocery haul. Again, from Walmart and from Sprout. So let's go ahead and jump into what's for dinners for the week as well as what you'll be seeing Monday for meal prep. So here is what is on my dinner menu for the week. We have Lola joining us. Hi, baby. Wanna say hi to everybody? Say hi, honey. Today, Saturday, we always go out for dinner or do takeout. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm actually making creamy lemon chicken with garlic. I'm really excited for this. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday, I'm doing chicken parm sliders. That's what those Hawaiian slider buns were for. Tuesday is always a leftover night. Wednesday, I'm doing a meatball casserole. And Thursday, I'm making a hamburger casserole. I will be sharing these two recipes with you guys in a future video. Super easy, kid-friendly, family-friendly. And then we'll do some leftovers on Friday. And here's what you'll be seeing in this week's meal prep. Like I said, I am so excited. For breakfast, I am making chocolate chip chaffles. So this is a spin on a traditional waffle with much more protein, but we're gonna have chocolate chips because why not? For lunch, we're doing homemade basil ravioli. I'm really excited for this. It's a healthier, lower point version of ravioli. And then for dessert, look at this, peanut butter stuffed brookies. We're making brookies. That is a brownie cookie hybrid. Cannot wait. So definitely stay tuned for Monday for all three recipes in meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up for the week from Sprouts and from Walmart. Lots of new food finds and I am really, really excited for meal prep on Monday. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you're notified when that video goes live. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching as well as links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come on over and join us. We'd love to have you. Happy, happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's special video. Bye.